So in this video, I want to talk about concatenation. Concatenation is when you append or combine uh, two or more strings into one. I'm also going to talk about uh, uh, converting a string to an expression. And to do that conversion, I'm going to introduce you to a new command called a request. The request command is pretty much uh, identical to the input string commands because uh, they both uh, treat uh, uh, the input of the user as a string. The difference between the request and uh, the input string, one of the differences at least is that uh, the request command is always going to uh, show your uh, your string in a, in a, in a pop-up box, in a dialog box. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, get started. So as always, I'm going to create a new program and I am going to name it accordingly. So this is, uh, since this is going to be a, you know, a, this is going to involve uh, many um, commands, so I'm just going to call it, um, I don't know, let's just call it test, <laughs> okay, and press uh, enter. Okay, so as usual, I am going to make a very basic program, uh, just uh, adding or multi multiplying two numbers. So clear IO is going to make sure that uh, my program always uh, starts uh, in a new page. Okay, so next, I am going to use uh, a request command to prompt uh, the user to enter a number okay so I'm going to do a request it works just like this so this is the syntax request and uh, the quotation mark I am going to put a string there so I'm gonna put the uh, enter uh, first number okay and that is going to be stored in a variable called uh, um, uh, num1 okay and I'm also going to do a second request command that is going to ask the user for the second number, which is going to be stored in a variable called, uh, I guess, uh, num2. Okay. And uh, I want to take those two numbers and uh, multiply the two. So the products. So that is going to be num1 times num2. And I want to store the result into a variable called uh, uh, res1 okay and now I want to display that result so display uh, the product the product uh, is and uh, I'm going to display the product. So this is how you would normally display the product. At least uh, that's how we've been doing it for uh, uh, for the past videos. And then you put out uh, the variable of uh, the results here. Okay. So let's try and see if uh, this program is going to run at all. Okay. So I'm going to go to home and put out uh, the name of the program, which is test. Open and close the parentheses. Enter. And it's asking me for the first number, okay? So that's what the uh, request uh, command does. It's going to uh, open up uh, or it's going to give you a pop-up uh, of this sort. So, you know, uh, that's uh, really nice. And you can use this uh, pretty much anywhere in your program. Uh, let's go and press and enter 4, enter. And it asks for the second number. And let's do uh, 5, 4 and 5. And uh, it says the product is 5 times 4. So as you can see, the request, just like the input string command, is going to treat your input as a string. So that's not what we want. We want it to display the uh, result instead. Okay, but it's just going to display uh, your whatever you you enter. It's just going to display those as a string. Okay, so uh, we can fix that. Let's uh, return and go back to the program by uh, pressing on the second key and app. That's going to take you. It's like uh, it's going to take you back and forth to program and home screen. Okay, so now what we want to do. We want to, because it is treating these uh, our inputs as a as string, we want to convert it to expression. Okay, so to do that, uh, we can do that pretty much anywhere. We can do that right after entering the numbers. Uh, so if I do expect this is the syntax for that, you can do a expr. And uh, you want to put the name of the variable you want to convert to an expression. So I'm going to do num1. And then uh, you like uh you can just over we can just override it or we can save in a new variable so we just want to override it so there isn't any conflict so i'm just gonna override it again so it's gonna take a uh, num1 convert it and save it to num1 again and i'm going to do the same thing for uh num2 
expression num2 okay num okay so now these things these two should be converted into a uh, expression from string to expression now is the program going to run so i'm not going to skip any step i am going to show you all step all all the steps all the way so let's just keep the same numbers for for again and now it says the product is 20 okay so that is great four times five is 20 so now that uh, we know it is working fine uh let's uh, talk about uh, string concatenation now which is the fact of uh, appending more than one string uh, or more than two strings into one so let's let's do that so i'm gonna go back home and go back to the program editor and uh as you can see so we didn't have to convert a uh, res1 because that really doesn't matter uh, because res1 is uh really did not hold any value at this point when we did the conversion res1 was not defined at the time and it didn't matter because uh uh, it's just gonna at this point since we converted num1 and num2 to expressions from strings to expressions now uh, we are just uh, uh, multiplying those two expressions and so and and, uh, and store them in a new variable called res1 so we didn't need to mess with res1 okay so now I want to concatenate this uh, uh, my result and uh, this uh, uh, string statement here this uh, statement the product is I want to combine those two so to do that it's very simple equal I'm just gonna put a space here. The space is not required, but it's just gonna make uh, uh, everything looks nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put a space here. So when the numbers display, it's not against the ease. So I'm gonna to concatenate two strings. All you gotta do is just uh, use the ampersand or the append sign. So this right here to do that, you press second key H. Okay, and uh, this calculator has a lot of uh, shortcuts. If you wanna see some of them, just uh, press uh, diamond key and K, where it says key, and it's gonna show you uh, some more shortcuts here okay so now that we did that uh, we're gonna get rid of uh, this uh, com uh, this comma here and uh, we want to put out uh, the name string just like this string so ampersand string and uh, you want to put the name of the variable uh, in the parentheses of the uh, of the of the uh, stuff you want to append to the string so we want to append uh, this uh, result to the uh, statement the product is okay so we want we, 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 we want those two to be on the same line so that's that, this is the syntax that's how you do it so let's go back and i want it again let's do a different number let's do 10 uh enter times uh 20 why not okay the product is 200 so as you can see this is very very handy okay it is easier than uh, using a more than one display statement to display your answers and uh, we can even do more with it so let's go back to the program and make this uh, a little more interesting okay so i am also going to uh now that we have the product i'm also going to have uh the sum here so i'm gonna put a num2 num1 plus num2 is equal to res2 okay so this thing is gonna say uh the product is then it's gonna display num uh it's gonna display uh uh, uh the product of uh, the numbers i'm going to enter and um it's also gonna say uh, the product is whatever I, uh, number I give it. The product is two hundred, and the sum. So I want to put a and the sum. I want to put everything on the same line. Okay, so let's go to the very end. So I'm gonna put uh, another percent here, a pen, and uh, I am going to put uh, the second statement in the condition. So it's gonna say uh, the product is that and uh, and the sum is i am going to close the quotation put another ampersand and uh, append at uh, the second uh, result so that is going to be our uh, res2 okay close parentheses and if we run the program then uh, it should be f should everything should work just fine so press enter uh let's put uh okay 25 okay let's put 45 enter Okay, the product is uh, 11.25 and the sum is rest 2. Okay, that's not what we want. So let's go back and see uh, what we messed up. Okay, but as you can see, everything is working just fine for so far. So let's go back here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, so we did uh, a little mistake here. Or should I say I did a little mistake here? So <laughs> I said this to be equal to rest 2, but uh, I need to be, uh, it needs to be store. Okay, not, not said equal to. So that's uh, the only mistake we did there. 
Okay, so let's go back again and run it. So enter first number, let's do our 45 and let's do 12. And uh, the product is 540 and the sum is 57. Okay, so as you can see, this is very, very handy. It is very convenient. Uh, but again, you can only do so much with it because if you if you uh, ran if you ran out of line, uh, it's just gonna uh, it's, it's just gonna cut your uh, expression short. So if we give this a, a really big number, let's see uh, if uh, we give a uh, this number, it's not gonna fill the screen. Okay, so I don't know what happened there. Okay, enter. As you can see, it's going to cut. And there is a way we can fix that. It's actually very easy. So let's go back and uh, go back to the program. So all we need to do is uh, to replace this uh, display command here with uh, the pause command. So I'm just going to put a pause. And uh, if I run it again, we should get lucky. So I'm going to put an even bigger number. Okay, this is definitely going to be more than enough. Press enter. And as you can see, you get an indication to scroll the display to the right. So we can just use the arrow key to scroll to the right. And uh, we can use the left arrow key as well. So I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section.